All right, so I am going to show you how to get to the Meta Business Suite um, to add a partner. So what we're going to do is you need to sign into your business page. This is my business page. It's where I'm at. Um, you can hover over this and like usually your circle will be right there. If you own multiple pages, it might be here as well. Um, but anyway, I'm already there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Meta Business Suite. So we're just going to click that and then it brings us to our like, you know, behind the scenes home page, our little dashboard. Um, and then what we want to do is there's a lot of settings, right? There's a, a lot of stuff going on here, but what we want to do is go to all tools. So when you click there, you're going to open it up and there's a lot of different places to go. Um, and they take you anywhere. I've clicked all of these and they take you all kinds of different places. Um, but we are going to go to events manager. So go ahead and, and click that and it's going to open this up. And um, you're like, what is this? Um, just make sure that you are on your account, right? Um, so now what you want to do is you want to do this all tools button here. And then what you want to do is go to business settings. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Now it's going to bring up this little handy dandy menu right here. And now what we're going to do is we are going to go to partners. Okay. And then, um, Okay, scratch that. You're not going to go to users, people. That's a different thing. Um, you're going to go to accounts, you go to pages, and then you should see your business asset here. Okay. And now there's a bunch of different little thingies here, but we're not going to worry about those. What we want is this. Okay. And so you can hover over here to see your partners, and then you can assign partners here or at this button here. And then what we're going to do is you can either do assign partner by business ID or you can get link to share. So let's see what happens whenever we do that. So you can do partial access. You can do, um, you know, like certain elements of the partial access, or you can give them the partial access, ac partial access for all of these, or you can give them control of everything. Um, and basically whatever toggle that we select and turn on um, is going to generate a link for us. So typically you're probably just gonna want full coverage for, for whoever to have full coverage. Um, in, the, in this instance, um, it's me. So I will be needing uh, the everything access for right now. So you're going to copy that link and then you can send it to the person that you're trying to share permissions with. Um, you can share it with a, with a person, um, or you can share it with a partner. It, it, the, it works pretty much the same. Like here I have, um, the client manager one I used, and then I also have my personal profile linked to it um, so it just gives me different avenues and also I just kind of wanted to play around with it and see what it would do if I made up a bunch of different things <laughs> um, but that is how you do it so um, and once uh, that link has been you know given to the user um, they will go in and set up your metapixel and um, probably link your actual Facebook page to your website. Um, and in this case, I'm trying to do both of those things. So I hope this helps. Thank you.